all right so welcome back to the channel today we already seen from the title of the video the um, relocation so you see this big old cluster mess here right but don't let that scare you so these are the jumper cables for the battery charger i have the battery charging because it's a little a little weak but these uh these red and black ones here are the booster cables so let me explain what i did went to walmart bought me these uh right now i don't know how much they are they're 30 something dollars at the store for me but i managed to get them down to 20 because that's what walmart.com said and i was not paying the extra almost 10 dollars so more than 10 dollars so got that got a battery box okay. got brand new top post battery terminals and two uh look one of them is in here oh there it is both of them there and the strap and all that so what i did is the booster cables cut them well, i didn't cut them matter of fact I, I, i'll do this i did this instead instead of cutting because i was gonna be left over with, with a good amount of cable left was i uh decrimp them from there took them off from the spring and i had nice cables that were already um, cut and wires were pointing out so what i did underneath was simple but since my phone's light did not want to come on this is gonna be a little dark so let me just get down here oh god all right light camera connection so what i did let's see if you can see there we go so I ran all the cables down between the exhaust hanger there. Sadly, I don't have another arm to zoom in. Running along the frame, right? Okay. So we have three wires. And I forgot to mention, but uh, on the battery side, earlier today, I went to Sutherland's and thank God they had what I needed. What I got was zero gauge wire, 600 volts, you can tell there. It is uh, oil, gas, and something else resistant. I think water too. Um, but two connectors from Ace Hardware, which were like $5.99. The um, cable, this one, the wire was zero gauge, like I said. It was $3.79 a foot, 15 foot. And with the lugs that I bought, uh, it was just one. But the lug that I bought for this cable to hook up onto the battery, which was like, I don't know. I didn't, I got to look back at the receipt. The total was 66 bucks. So local, locally here in town, managed to get this. Uh, didn't want to wait, especially from, in the, on, from the internet. But uh, hooked it up directly to the ground. Uh, I mean, not, not this is not the ground. This is hooked directly to the starter. <laughs> My bad. All the way direct from the battery to the starter. Okay. Because I had originally on that red wire from the booster cable, all three of them hooked up, but the small gauge, which is four, wasn't enough to power all of the components that it needed. So right now the booster cable is connected to the alternator and the fuse box, which is to all the electrical system of the truck. So now we have a bigger gauge for the starter, which works better. And we have the two wires from alternator and fuse box or the electrical components to the booster cable all the way to the battery. And the ground is the ground that is on the block of the, uh, the motor, okay? Engine, so whatnot. Uh, it took me two days to work on this because, like I said yesterday, I had the video kind of made and all that, but it didn't want to work, and I realized that the cable was just not enough. Not enough power is going to the starter. But um, today I managed to get all this. So see, that's the lug I'm talking about. Uh, so 20-foot booster cable, 15-foot uh well whatever's left of the uh the cable that i bought which is still good and I, we can use that in anything but um cut it put a lug boom onto the uh terminal and this 20 foot but from the center of the hub to center of the hub which i forgot i think that's how you measure your wheelbase i think i can't remember now um was 11 feet from the 20 so and that is, I mean, for like I said, center of the hub to center of the hub, but right here where it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit more shorter. So, but going back to the original number, which is 11, my 20 minus 11, which is giving me nine feet of 
of booster cable, which I'm able to put back those um, clamps and still get a booster cable. So it's all a win-win situation. But like I said, it might be sh uh, longer for the booster cable uh, to put back. But the ground, which is this one, right? And the ground to battery the chassis or the frame is over there where the fuel pump would be. And what I did is that I bought, oh, I didn't buy anything. What I did is uh, take the bolt out and all these grounds, put them in one spot. So if something goes bad, I know where what, what ground is messed up. But this is for the battery. And this is a 10 gauge wire and this is a little bit thicker, but uh, it'll work as a, as a ground. And I made it extra long because like the way I'm gonna set it up, um, it's gonna be more closer that way. So this plywood that I'm gonna use here is a piece of plywood, the thickest plywood they got. Uh, so it'd be leveled. That's why I'm using the body lift kit. It comes in handy. Uh, I'm gonna need a little bit longer bolts than these because yeah, you see, they won't be enough when they come out to touch the plywood because the plywood's gonna be thicker. Uh, but I need to buy the plywood, mark it, make the holes and see what kind of long, how much longer bolts I'm gonna need. But I might put the head down this way and then a bolt down here so or vice versa depending on which way is the easiest way uh so the battery box and all that's going to be there and then the air tank for the air horns and whatnot which is in the back of the truck at the moment air tank right there air compressor and stuff um so the air tank is going to be right here now this is what my brother-in-law gave me uh he managed to get a, a new semi new kenworth uh, and uh, helped him take off a headache rack and a toolbox and the toolbox he didn't need it no more and i said what you gonna do with it nothing can i have it sure as an extra payment for what i did for uh, what i uh, helped them with so i yeah, probably can't see much i can't see nothing on my phone either <laughs> anyways walk me not trying to fall down here so here's the toolbox it is a little rough yes but it has one of these uh, key lock uh, deals. So if I can find a, a new lock and a key to use this, if I can open it without being stubborn, there you go. Uh, see, um, it is still good condition. Um, if I want to put the, the battery in here, oh, I'm not going to be able to lock. Okay, it's full of dirt. I need to wash this. Anyways, I'll leave it open then. Damn, yeah, okay. Anyways, if I want to put the batteries in here, if I put two batteries, okay? Just a theory. Well, I guess what you do is a parallel or series. One of those two, right? Uh, I think it's parallel. I think. Uh, if I manage to put the batteries in there, I get a toolbox. But yet again, it is a little big for what I want. Because it's going to look kind of retarded if I put that big old toolbox. I'm going to leave it open because I'm going to wash it out later. But, um... I was just thinking, that was just a little thing to think about, you know, but who knows? So, but you know, just imagine that big old toolbox like right there. I mean, it could work, but time will tell. But first, what I gotta do now is buy plywood because I need to set this up so I could be able to move the truck back and forth and strap down the the battery what i mean i'm what i could do is just leave it right there put the battery box right there and put a strap the the strap that came with it or strap it down to that piece of frame there but you know, i'm gonna do it right do it right once like i said so to show that this world does work uh the battery charger's turned off so come in here i got the battery voltage there 12 volts 13 ish so should crank right up i am low i am low on fuel so it is charging Oof. it is hot but anyways um yeah i'm gonna charge this battery a little bit more probably like 15 minutes have it on the medium charge don't need it that quick uh but there she goes I mean, that's how you do it relocation so any car truck deal all you just got to do is buy you a one gauge straight directly to the uh, starter uh and then four gauge like a booster cable hook them up to the other two wires which is the fuse computer all that and the alternator um and a good ground make sure you have all good grounds 
and um, I just hope with one battery it's okay. Like I said, I'm running lights and AC and radio and all that. But uh, if I push comes to shove, buy a uh, heavier duty uh, alternator. I think that one was like what 90 amps. That's what they came from factory. I don't know what this one is, honestly. But uh, yeah, they're 90 amps. But if I need a bigger one, I go get one from Rock Auto. They got one for like 200 amps. Uh, compared to the ones they sell, like 140, 150, 190 from this one place. I can't remember the name, but yeah. So let me show you all the prices that I paid for this concoction here. Is this it? Yes, it is. So in Sutherland's, the, uh, the price was, you can see, right there, $56.85 for 15 foot of uh, that wire, which was $379. And then that electrical lug was $4.99, total of $66.94, so almost $67 at Sutherland's. And here from Ace Hardware, the uh, the two electrical lugs, I bought one today and the other one yesterday, it was uh, $59.99. I don't want to show you all the whole receipt, but uh, so $5.99 plus $5.99, this is rounded up $6 to six, twelve dollars on the connectors, plus the... Uh, the wire and the other lug in the total you can get this all done if you do the math uh 20 those around to 21 bucks plus those uh electrical connectors uh let's see do i got still i still got that receipt i don't know what the receipt is okay so let's do a quick math uh 21 dollars plus 11 dollars which is what 11 plus 20 plus 11 what 32 32 so 32 dollars so far with the cables and box and then what six dollars so 30 what did i say 31 or 32 forgot 32 dollars plus six says six seven eight eight 38 dollars plus the lugs which i forgot so let's round it up to almost 40 41 dollars for all this right here and then the extra bar which is 60 dollars i mean you for under like 100 bucks you can get this done is what i'm saying under 100 bucks compared to waiting a few days for the same type of gauge wire for it to work the same i'm just saying if you can get it here in town locally anywhere where you live they got stuff like this you're better off than just waiting and something cheaper because like i said the ones that they sell online is a CCA, which is copper clad aluminum, which is ain't worth a damn. Uh, you want pure copper because it, it will corrode on the other stuff. Uh, but I mean, for 100 bucks, you get this and it works. Uh, I do need to get more gas and then I need to finish this up. So, yeah, that's just a quick video I need to upload for y'all for what I did so far right now, uh, other than being busy at work. Uh, relocated the battery to the back. So now. Once I do all this, secure it, air tank and all that, well, mostly the battery, that means I can actually close this and drive around, ish. Uh, still need to put some springs. I still need to do a couple of things. I bought also those um, hood latches there from Amazon, which were like 20 something dollars for both of them. Uh, then I, oh, that's right. The uh, third brake light, as you've seen, I took it off. LED light, third brake light. Uh, where did I put it? Oh, it's right here. The box. That was 25 something. So, a couple of parts here and there building up. So, when time comes, I'll put it all new. But, um, for what most I need to do though is, um, I need to undercoat this, this thing, paint it, undercoat it. But that's it for today. Let it charge up and then I put them in them clamps. So, this be also more secure. But hey, she's done. She's good. So, hope you enjoyed this little video that I did here, like 15 minutes long. <laughs> um, just make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to, comment down, got any questions, and let's catch you on the flip side. Appreciate it.